to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for the... Good morning, good morning, good morning Guys, are you ready? To come along and ride along with me on a trip I hope you are as excited as I am here we go let's go let's get out of this yard finish doing all our pre-trip and paperwork and all that good stuff you know oh that Sun is bright today we better put them sunglasses on eh there we go, there we go. Yeah, we got a nice light load of tubes. Two deliveries to make in Wisconsin. Eau Claire, Wisconsin is our first drop. That's right. Man, that trailer feels light. It really does. Well, I am extremely happy that I am done with all my uh, dangerous goods course and all that good stuff, you know. Got my safety done there last month. All of that stuff is done. In 100 meters, turn right on Highway 52. So hopefully I can get me a break now where I don't need to be sitting at home extra days just because something, some course or or this or that has to be done, you know. Hopefully I can uh, be out there on the road now for a while and get some good miles in and make some money, you know. I've been off since last Thursday. Today is Wednesday. It's like six days that I've been off, you know. That's crazy. Oh well. Sometimes you just gotta do it. It was worth it though too. I mean, really it was. Going camping, spending all that time with the family. Although my wife didn't get to go camping, she decided to, uh, well, they had decided already a while back ago that they was going to go uh, all together. They were going to go on a uh, girls' night out or whatever you want to call it. So they were out there uh, for the weekend and doing their own thing. And me and my buddy and the kids went camping, cleaned up the campsite. Did all that good stuff? Yeah. Anyways, let's hammer down and get towards the border. We're going to be crossing Pamina again like we have been doing for the last two weeks. It's going to be the same border crossing again. That's okay. That's okay. Let's come and ride along with us and uh, have ourselves a fantastic day. It should be back to normal vlog now. Yeah, should be uh, longer now than it's been in a few days, and probably more interesting traveling along the highways. You know. Alrighty, guys, we just crossed the border. We gotta enter our code that they give us. They give us a piece of paper with a code on it. If you are okay to leave the border. We enter that and then the gate opens and then we can leave. So welcome to the United States of America. We are entering North Dakota right now. Yep. Now we are in North Dakota like we were last week and then the week before too. Well, let's put my sunglasses back up. 
it's always a good idea to take your sunglasses off when you pull up to the to, uh, to the booth there because they don't like it too much when you have your sunglasses on and they think that you're hiding something from them because you're hiding behind the sunglasses right but we're not hiding anything so we're good to go like 500 miles to go to our first drop. Yep. So let's put the hammer down and uh, see if we can get close to our first delivery tonight. Alrighty, guys, we just going through Fargo, North Dakota. Just cruising along here and just taking her easy. Smokey Bear just got himself a capture there on the other side of the highway there. Yeah. We are just about to enter North uh, Minnesota. I just about said North Dakota, but I meant to say uh, Minnesota. Yep. Nice and sunny today. I have a little bit of a west wind today but now we're going to go east so the wind is going to come from behind us right that's right i'm almost feeling like i caught the cold a little bit or the flu or something a little bit somewhere i don't know where i got it but I'm feeling a little something in my throat today okay I guess anyways let's go see if the scale will be open there in uh, Minnesota today they're open uh, fairly regularly so I have to keep our eye open for them well guys it appears that our scale is closed shut down in Minnesota yeah that's good that way I can just continue on cruising along here and don't have to slow down for them, right? Looks like they're actually working on the scale up there. I don't know what exactly they're doing, but probably trying to fix something or do something to try and improve something. <laughs> yep, that's the way it goes. Now I can feel that the wind is coming from behind me, that's for sure. That's before the wind, the wind was trying to blow me over like that all the time. And now it's just a smooth sailing. Yes it is. Anyways, we'll continue on with our journey and see what uh, we'll be able to show you. Alrighty guys, we just had ourselves a little bit of a pit stop. In a rest area here by Alexandria, Minnesota. And I still had some uh, frozen pastas in my fridge, so uh, I took the time and uh, warmed up some uh, frozen pasta in my microwave. Had me a bite to eat. Had my mandatory half an hour off. And here we go again. Back at it again. We got 226 miles to go. To where we gotta go to make our delivery. Which uh, GPS says 7 o'clock so be about four hours worth of driving I could do that I would have no problem doing that so I should be fairly close to my delivery place at the first one anyway so Claire Wisconsin I'm sort of thinking about whereabouts I could uh, meet a subscriber of mine there out of Minneapolis it's kind of late to uh, 
try and find a parking spot somewhere, you know, around uh, Minneapolis. I know he, uh, he would prefer to be in a Rogers area somewhere, but it's kind of hard to find parking in there, you know. But we'll have to see what we can do. We'll have to see what we can do. Maybe we can find a parking spot somewhere. Meet, you know, that would be awesome if I could. And, uh, we'll have to see how it goes. It's actually fairly warm out here in Mania Soda today. I mean, like 20, 21 degrees, you know. It's fairly cold this morning, Manitoba. When I left there, it was like 6 degrees, so it's warmed up pretty good. That's the way we like it. Alrighty guys, we are in Minneapolis area. Look at the traffic there on the other side. Yeah, it's definitely a rush hour, that's for sure. It's like 5.02 right now. It looks like traffic is at a standstill there. Didn't film it there a little bit earlier, but... <coughs> Excuse me. Anyways, I can definitely tell it's picking up traffic over there you know then we're going the opposite way so we're still good we're still good and let's go through Minneapolis real fast here we go hold on to your pants. Wanted to feel those big truck wheels rolling underneath her feet. Her boss was a jerk, and off his work just wasn't her cup of tea. She climbed out of that hole ten years ago to follow her lifelong dream and learn to drive. Now she feels the pride every time that diesel screams. She traded her high heels for eighteen wheels to run coast to coast. She ain't no less than one of the best truck drivers on the road. She'll jam in gears and show no fear and drive with a steady hand. She's our all-American truck driving woman. Nights under truck stop lights Serving that driver man But filling their cups Wasn't enough She had a bigger plan She cashed in her tips And bought a big rig And cut that apron loose Now she's the one Getting waited on In that driver's only booth She traded her High heels for 18 wheels To run coast to coast She ain't no less they're one of the best truck drivers on the road. She'll jam them gears and show no fear and drive with a steady hand. She's our all-American truck driving woman. So if you see her rolling down the road, pulling that heavy load, show her respect and courtesy. Cause man, that girl's been out there proving She can keep America moving They're just as good as you and me She traded her high heels for 18 wheels To run coast to coast She ain't no less than one of the best Truck drivers on the road She'll jam them gears and show no fear And drive with a steady hand all-American truck drive woman Yeah, she'll jam them gears and show no fear And drive with a steady hand She's our all-American truck drive woman I am in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. 
Yeah, I'm sort of here at the McDonald's truck. Yeah, parking spot, you know. There's a small truck stop over there. But uh, that one is usually pretty full. And so I figured, ah, park in here in the uh, McDonald's. Yeah, you can probably see the McDonald's sign over there. Yeah, I got a few parking spots here open yet. So, yeah, so we're good to go, right? Anyways, I just put together my uh, video there from uh, from the weekend there. One at least I put together, and uh, I'm just not feeling very good today. I don't know what's going on, but I must have picked up the flu or a cold or something there on the weekend or something like that. So, yeah, that kind of sucks, but what can you do, right? But anyways, that's about all I got for today. I hope you uh, found some interest in today's vlog. If you did, we would love to hear from you in the comment section down there below on what you liked about today's video or whatever I, you think I could improve. All that good stuff. And if you did like it, rate it up by a thumbs up. Don't forget to share the video. If you liked it, somebody else probably likes it. So. We'll see you again tomorrow. Have a good one. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come. I'm breaking the walls down.